to the third night before Christmas. Tonight's featured story is How the Grinch Stole Christmas, read by the fabulous Mark Clem. Untitled by William Church. Thank you for the Christmas presents. I thank you one and all. For the big ones, many thanks and fewer for the small. Jackson, Oliver, Sammy, <laughs> and Pepperoni. Peace, bro. Peace, bro. Peace, bro. Peace, bro. He actually learned the sign. So, guys, what is your favorite Christmas cookie? Chocolate chip cookie. That's sure. your favorite cookie all of the time. Yeah. Yeah. Sugar M &M. cookie. M -M. Sugar, M -M. sugar cookie. What about, hey, what about M -M. those? M&M. M&M? Yeah. What about those little ones that are peanut butter and then they have the Hershey Kiss in the middle? Oh, oh yeah, I like those better. I, I like still like fine. sugar cookies better. With or without icing? Without icing. Without? Yes. You're weird. Nana makes good icing. Yeah. Yeah? Squeeze, Peppa. What is Peppa's favorite Christmas cookie? Um, poop cooker. Peppa, that's weird. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay, next question. What is your favorite Christmas movie? The Night Before Christmas. The Night Before Christmas. Is it, is it The Nightmare Before Christmas? Yeah, well, what? yeah I knew that. Jack Skellington. Nightmare. Nightmare Before Christmas. Mine too. Is that a Christmas movie or a Halloween movie? It's, it's, um, uh, both. It's, it's both. a Halloween movie. Both, but it's both. Christmas movie? It's both. a Halloween movie. It's what about, both. they said it was a Halloween movie. It's obviously both. Yeah. The Great Debate. Is Nightmare Before Christmas a Halloween movie or a Christmas movie? It's Halloween movie. Both. Both. Just yeah, both. Okay. Google even says it's Halloween. <laughs> yeah. 
Next question. What present did you get that you really wanted really badly or what did you want really badly that you never got? The Lego Death Star. I knew you were going to say that. Mm -hmm. You think of anything? The PS5. The PS5. Well, that's this year. How do you know you haven't gotten it? Sam, get your face back. <laughs> you guys want to know a story? Yeah. No. I haven't told you this one. So when I was a little kid, I wanted one of those electric cars, you know, that you guys have at Nana's where you get in and mm -hmm. it's got a battery and you can press on the thing and it goes. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I wanted one of those so bad. And I told Nana and Bapa, wanted it real, 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 real bad. And they never got it for me. Never got it. Never got it. Guess who got it? You. No one. And Holly. Yes. Isn't that mean? That's mean. That's mean, Mom and Dad. Mean. I'm the star of the show. Okay. Let's do this question. What are three words that describe the holidays? Christmas. Go, you awesome, go first. Awesome, awesome, and awesome. Awesome, <laughs> awesome, and awesome. Okay, I like those three words, even awesome. though they're the same. That's the same Peppa still Sam's word. Peppa presents. Peppa? Mm -hmm. Yes, Peppa. Okay. Um, present, snow, and Santa. Present, mm -hmm. snow, and Santa. Mom, your turn. My turn? Okay, mm -hmm. how about family? Magic. Purple. And awesome. Santa. <laughs> awesome, awesome, and awesome. How also about awesome? All right, are there any more questions that you guys want to answer? Oh, no. Why? Yes. Oh, I have one. Okay. Why is Peppa so cool? I don't know, Peppa. Why are you so cool? Because I'm cool, bro. I have a question. I'm cool. Oliver has a question. Give me that. Give me some question. Why does Santa like cookies? Because so he can that be fat. That is a fat. good question. <laughs> oh, I've got a good question. Does Santa want milk, chocolate milk, or wine? He wants beer. He, 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 <laughs> he wants beer. He wants beer. <laughs> <laughs> That's the great debate. I say wine. I say, I chocolate, say beer. Milk. chocolate milk. Chocolate milk. Um, Sprite. <laughs> Sprite. Right. I say beer, <laughs> beer, beer one. We need to get Santa. Santa I have an idea. How about this year we leave out all of the choices and see which one Santa drinks? He's probably going to drink wine. What do you think? Yeah, you're probably going to just be like, I'm probably going to drink, drink all of them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, come back over here. Together come here. Just be like, <laughs> Let's do one big Merry Christmas. Ready? Yeah. Okay, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Bye. Okay, Mr. Grinch, <laughs> Santa! Hello, my name is Mark, and I'm going to be reading for you How the Grinch Stole Christmas by Dr. Seuss. Are you ready? Then we'll begin. And here's a picture of the Grinch right inside the front cover, holding a wreath and smiling. Not like him at all. But then we'll find out. How the Grinch Stole Christmas by Dr. Seuss for Teddy Owens. I wonder who that is. Every who down in Whoville liked Christmas a lot. But the Grinch, who lived just north of Whoville, did not. The Grinch hated Christmas the whole Christmas season. Now, please don't ask why. No one quite knows the reason. It could be his head wasn't screwed on just right. It could be, perhaps, that his shoes were too tight. But I think the most likely reason of all may have been that his heart was two sizes too small. But whatever the reason, his heart or his shoes, he stood there on Christmas Eve hating the Who's, staring down from his cave with a sour, grinchy frown at the warm, lighted windows below in their town. For he knew every Who down in Whoville beneath was busy now, hanging a mistletoe wreath. And there he is looking down. 
and they're hanging their stockings, he snarled with a sneer. Tomorrow is Christmas. It's practically here. Then he growled with his Grinch fingers nervously drumming. I must find some way to stop Christmas from coming. For tomorrow, he knew. All the Who girls and boys would wake bright and early. They'd rush for their toys. And then, oh, the noise, oh, the noise, 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 noise. That's one thing he hated. The noise, 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 noise. Look at all that noise they're making. Then the Who's, young and old, would sit down to a feast. And they'd feast, and they'd feast, and they'd feast, feast, feast. They would feast on Who pudding and rare Who roast beast, which was something the Grinch couldn't stand in the least. And then they'd do something he liked least of all. Every Who down in Whoville, the tall and the small, would stand close together with Christmas bells ringing. They'd stand hand in hand, and the Who's would start singing. They'd sing, and they'd sing, and they'd sing, 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 sing. And the more the Grinch thought of this Who Christmas sing, the more the Grinch thought, I must stop the whole thing. Why, for 53 years I've put up with it now. I must stop this Christmas from coming. But how? <laughs> He's got an idea. <laughs> then he got an idea. An awful idea. The Grinch got a wonderful, awful idea. Just a moment. There we go. I know just what to do, the Grinch laughed in his throat, and he made a quick Santa Claus hat and a coat, and he chuckled and clucked, what a great Grinchy trick, with this coat and this hat I look just like Saint Nick. <laughs> All I need is a reindeer, and the Grinch looked around, but since reindeer are scarce, there was none to be found. Did that stop the old Grinch? No. The Grinch simply said, If I can't find a reindeer, I'll make one instead. So he called his dog, Max. Then he took some red thread, and he tied a big horn on the top of his head. Then he loaded some bags and some old empty sacks on a ramshackle sleigh and he hitched up old Max. Then the Grinch said, Giddy up! And the sleigh started down toward the homes where the Who's lay a snooze in their town. All their windows were dark. Quiet snow filled the air. All the Who's were all dreaming sweet dreams without care. When he came to the first little house on the square, this is stop number one. The old Grinchy Claws hissed, and he climbed to the roof, empty bags in his fist. Then he slid down the chimney, a rather tight pinch. But if Santa could do it, so could the old Grinch. He got stuck only once, for a moment or two. Then he stuck his head out of the fireplace flue where the little who stockings all hung in a row. These stockings, he grinned, are the first things to go. Then he slithered and slunk with a smile most unpleasant around the whole room, and he took every present Pop guns and bicycles, roller skates, drums, checkerboards, tricycles, popcorn, and plums. And he stuffed them in bags. Then the Grinch, very nimbly, stuffed all the bags one by one up the chimbly.
Then he slumped to the icebox. He took the Who's Feast. He took the Who pinning. Yep. Take two on that one. Take two. Then he slunk to the icebox. He took the Who's Feet. <laughs> Take three. Then he slunk to the icebox. He took the Who's Feast. He took the Who Pudding. He took the Roast Beast. He cleaned out that ice box as quick as a flash. Why, that Grinch even took their last can of who hash. <laughs> then he stuffed all the food up the chimney with glee. And now, grinned the Grinch, I will stuff up the tree. <laughs> and the Grinch grabbed the tree and he started to shove, when he heard a small sound like the coo of a dove. He turned around fast and he saw a small who, little Cindy Lou who, who was not more than two. The Grinch had been caught by this tiny who daughter, who'd got out of bed for a cup of cold water. She stared at the Grinch and said, Santa Claus, why? Why are you taking our Christmas tree why? But you know, that old Grinch was so smart and so slick, he thought up a lie and thought it up quick. Why, my little sweet tot. I'll try that again. Take two. But you know, that old Grinch was so smart and so slick, he thought up a lie and thought it up quick. Why, my sweet little tot, the fake Santa Claus lied. There's a light on this tree that won't light on one side. So I'm taking it home to my workshop, my dear. I'll fix it up there, then I'll bring it back here. And his fib fooled the child. Then he patted her head, and he got her a drink, and he sent her to bed. And when Cindy Lou Who went to bed with her cup, he went to the chimney and stuffed the tree up. Then the last thing he took was the log for their fire. Then he went up the chimney himself, the old liar. On their walls he left nothing but hooks and some wire. And the one speck of food that he left in the house was a crumb that was even too small for a mouse. Then he did the same thing at the other Who's houses, leaving crumbs much too small for the other Who's mouses. It was quarter past dawn, all the Who's still abed, all the Who's still a snooze when he packed up his sled packed it up with their presents, the ribbons, the wrappings, the tags and the tinsel, the trimmings, the trappings. 3,000 feet up, up the side, not up, take two. 3,000 feet up, up the side of Mount Crumpet, he rode with his load to the tip top to dump it. Poo poo to the hoos. He was Grinchishly humming. They're finding out now that no Christmas is coming. They're just waking up. I know just what they'll do. Their mouths will hang open a minute or two. Then the Who's down in Whoville will all cry, Boo Hoo! <laughs> That's a noise, grinned the Grinch, that I simply must hear. So he paused. And the Grinch put his hand to his ear, and he did hear a sound rising over the snow. It started in low, then it started to grow. But the sound wasn't sad. Why, this sound sounded merry. It couldn't be so, but it was merry, very. He stared down at Whoville, 
The Grinch popped his eyes. Then he shook. What he saw was a shocking surprise. Every who down in Whoville, the tall and the small, was singing without any presents at all. He hadn't stopped Christmas from coming. It came. Somehow or other, it came just the same. And the Grinch, with his Grinch feet ice cold in the snow, stood puzzling and puzzling. How could it be so? It came without ribbons. It came without tags. It came without packages, boxes, or bags. And he puzzled three hours till his puzzler was sore. Then the Grinch thought of something he hadn't before. Maybe Christmas, he thought, doesn't come from a store. Maybe Christmas, perhaps, means a little bit more. And what happened then? Well, in Whoville, they say that the Grinch's small heart grew three sizes that day. And the minute his heart didn't feel quite so tight, he whizzed with his load through the bright morning light and he brought back the toys and the food for the feast and he, he himself, the Grinch carved the roast beast. The end. Merry Christmas. Just Doing My Job by Claire Bevan I'm one of Herod's henchmen. We don't have much to say. We just charge through the audience in a henchman sort of way. We all wear woolly helmets to hide our hair and ears, and Wellington sprayed silver to match our tinfoil spears. Our swords are made of cardboard, so blood will not be spilled if we trip and stab a parent when the hall's completely filled. We don't look very scary. We're mostly small and shy, and some of us wear glasses, but we give the thing a try. We whisper henchman noises while Herod hunts for strangers, and then we all charge out again like nervous Power Rangers. Yet when the play is over and Miss is out of breath, we'll charge the henchmen through the hall and scare our moms to death.